I'm in sixth gear. I don't know. It looks like it. <coughs> I got my throat, bro. It's like starting to hurt. <coughs> Uh, what's up guys welcome back to another video this is probably me along with my other video that i recorded a couple weeks ago um my car's sitting over there you guys can see a bumper it's about to fall off um but pretty much um i'll tell you guys what happened i was coming home it was about 11 at night and i was on the highway now it's kind of like a one-way highway, kind of, so it's like one way going forward and then one way going backward. Um, so, um, I was going about 60 miles an hour. Uh, my headlights are pretty fucked up on the driver's side. I believe when I got this car, it was in some type of accident. So, um, the headlight housing is actually cracked. So a lot of dust and dirt gets in that housing causes me causes like I feel like it causes that um headlight not to function properly the lighting is kind of shitty um on that on that headlight so um like I said I was going I was going 60 miles an hour I was going home um and I didn't really see it. I was I was going kind of pretty quick um I would say so and I was going pretty quick and there's like a raccoon in, like crossing the road. So, um, I didn't really know what to do. When I saw the raccoon, it was kind of too late. So there's pretty much nothing I could really do in that moment. I couldn't really swerve because I felt like I would have ended up hitting that raccoon or um, it would have been worse. Um, so, and I couldn't really break um, because uh, first things first, um, the brakes on this car are kind of shitty, and second, um, there is a big semi behind me, and I know for sure it takes a minute for a semi to actually slow down, and I wasn't trying to really, um, like, possibly cause a terrible accident for me and maybe for the driver behind me. So, um, I was just like, fuck it, send it, and I did. And all I heard was a bunch of crunching, and I was like, fuck, I, I'm i pretty sure I killed this raccoon, you know. In my mind, I was like, fuck, dude, like, I can imagine this person, this raccoon's, like, bones just cracking, like, it was like, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. But if you've ever ran over something that was, like, an animal, and you've just heard shit crack, it, like, I feel so shitty. Um, but so today... Um, I got some zip ties, um, bumper was already coming off, um, a couple of days ago, so, I'm gonna re-secure the zip ties, and whatnot, um, but I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the damage, um, it's not too, too bad, uh, um, it looks really ugly right now, and, uh, maybe I should just replace the bumper. Um, let me, I don't know, like, what would you guys do in my situation if this happened to you? Because, um, I don't really know what to do. Alright, here she is. Look at that. So, um, I waited until I got home. Pick this up. I waited until I got home until I saw the damage. The first thing I noticed right away when I got off was um, my bumper on that side just sagging. Other thing as I walked was my fog light. Um, little piece uh, came off. So uh, this is completely fucked. So I honestly don't think I can. Oh, there it is. I'll put it back together. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I saw was the bottom piece on this. So I'm guessing I fucked. Well, not guessing. Pretty much fucked this bottom piece up. Um, I don't know if I can really bend it back. 
but that piece over there is completely fucked as well as my front lip. Front lip is completely gone. Uh, there's like a hole down here where maybe it got caught up or some shit like that. Um, so uh, for the bumper, um, I actually secured it with some zip ties here. So uh, I don't think this bottom piece is uh, completely shit. But uh, on this bumper, I'll show you guys. You just gotta secure it on down here where that thing goes. Um, and then it kind of misaligned this part here. So, so this bottom piece is actually a little, this bottom piece right here is a little, a little lower. So, I'm um, gonna go ahead and pop the hood. And see if there's uh, any damage from the inside. So, let's see. All right, so the engine bay is pretty dirty. Don't mind it. Um, so it looks like there's no pressure in the system right now. We're good. So, that's pretty much what happened. Um, this part here got bent as well. So. That is uh, literally what happened to me uh, last night. I hope nothing like that ever happens to me again. Uh, it's actually the first time it's actually ever happened. Um, first time it's ever happened to me. So, um, you know, it looks, my upper looks really ugly, but at, at least it's not completely broken or it's not completely bad. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys in the next uh, vlog or video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.